if you go to the documentation of angular ca color picker uh, you can see some of the uh, other example for example you can come here and put the value as a hex or the background as you can see the background is showing here then you can have the value here put the value as a color and as you change it will just see the value here so for the first one it does not have value for the second one it has the value and then you have you can change the format of course to rgb rgba anything you want you can change it all of these things of course you can apply it to the any text that you can change the color of the text plus they have uh, some other option that you can come here and see uh, yourself so for our example i have just added some of the 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 things that you can also do it as you can see for the color picker i have just put some presets here for the color presets are this one if i come down uh all the way down i don't know where, yeah here is the preset it will just show you some of the the colors that they already have here uh let me see yes here is the preset so you can just display some of the color example that people can choose here that's why i just choose some of the color and put the value for them and if i come here to our application refresh the page this time if i see okay i should hardly load it so that we can have the value as a rate as you can see we have all the presets here you can add more presets of course if you want and we have the example here that we can see uh, if you change it to the hex color of course it is not going to work because if i inspect element here it will use the rgb here but for the white color it will just change the white when we are go going to use the linear mm, gradient or the background image it will be something completely different for now it is just fine that it's working so if you go to the documentation for the cc3 gradient of course you will use the linear gradient the first option is going to be the direction then the, you have the color sequence here you have you can have more than two colors for our example we will use one color only if you don't put the direction of course it is going to be right to left by default and it will show it like that so how you are going to display it in the browser for now it is only for one of them let's add one for the second one as the color uh, the second color so i can just come here copy this one and put it here for now we can cha change the background color should be the second color and the name should be also the second color and what else the value of course should be the second color plus we must open our module here our um, of, um, component and define the second color here so it should be the color second and this one should display the default of blue and if i save this one this one also come to the browser and hardly load the page here as you can see it will show up here so that's why i can just select i use this one that's why it will display for the second one we have not used this one so we will use this one for the gradient of the background plus as you can see we have the opacity also so we can just put the opacity for the background really uh, you cannot just write it the color as you can see here a style background of the style what you are going to use is of course the background image but if i save it it should refresh the page now it is not going to work and it will give us the same warning uh, of course it is not showing it here the, what angular is going to do if it sees that you are uh, entering invalid value for something it will just ignore it of course for the background color you cannot background image you cannot put the color that's why it is not going to work what you are going to do is we are going to use the linear here the linear so you cannot just directly put the linear and put the direction here I can put it for you you can just test it but it is not going to work the same the way you want so what why I'm going to use is I will just uh, split it apart for example if I come here you can remove this one for instance if I put this one how it is going to work background linear for now we just pass the value think of a function it is the same way and let's say it is two right and then we just write 
this dot color one comma this dot color two and we should save it now it is the the way we expect it to work but if i come here it's just giving us an error that you cannot just put that type of value for the linear gradient because as you as you know it will it will not work like that because we are passing a function here it is going to think that we don't have a linear function how it is going to work and how it is not going to work even if you put a another column here save it still it is not going to work so what i'm going to do is to change it to another type of value I will split it apart and put it here so here is how you are going to do this one I will just decrease the font size here uh, so that you can see everything in one line of course you cannot display okay I will just increase the size and explain it for you here we have the style background image here as you can see and it is we, we will put the gradient linear in a separate place here like this and then you place it like a string you will plus it with the second this one is the direction of course and you will plus it with a comma and then you will plus it with the this color and then you plus it with the second color as you can see this way it is going to work at the end you will plus with the end of the function is starting here this is how it, uh, how it is going to work you should look at this one uh, very closely and this is how it is going to work so if i save this one and open it in the browser uh, it should work just fine now if you come here and change the color as you can see it will change you can just change the opacity from here to something else as you can see it's working just fine and now we have our gradient setup if you have any question feel free to ask on the uh, Q&A section of this video because this was a little tricky when I was doing it because uh, angular is going to sanitize it that's why it is hard to put the value that are a little different than the usual values so this is how you can do it in the next video we will customize it more and we will just apply some more style and we will do some quality stuff